Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Hi guys, it's Jamila. Welcome back to my channel. Sorry if my voice sounds horrible. I literally got sick in the first week of September. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> So pretty much I haven't really been vlogging or anything like that. Yeah, I'm super sorry. I have been reading for the ATLA readathon. So I thought since I wasn't able to vlog this first this first week of September, I'd do like a mini vlog. Today is September 9th and it's my birthday. <laughs> It's my birthday and I don't know, I feel good today. I have to work in a little bit, but I feel really good. I turned 23, which is so weird to say. Like I remember when I came out of being a teenager and I turned 20, it was just so weird like being 20 and 21 and I was like, why do I still feel like I'm a teenager? Ah, even though I was doing like, you know, big girl adult things but yeah it was so freaking weird but anyways it's my birthday and i'm gonna spend it sick and working but we're not mad at that yeah oh my god i made a post last night about my birthday and uh oh, everyone's so freaking sweet like i need to respond to everybody but i haven't had the chance to like sit still and I started my first day of work a couple days ago and I posted about that on Twitter too and you guys were so freaking supportive and nice and amazing and my heart was just so full like thank you guys for being so sweet thank you thank you so much for my birthday well not necessarily for my birthday but just like for me <laughs> I made like a order I'm so excited about I don't think it's gonna come into like October which kind of sucks but it was kind of expensive but I'm super excited about it it's a box I don't want to say which one because you'll see it when you'll see it but yeah I'm super excited about that and ordering that I made an order off a of book outlet for myself another update I started decorating my office where I work in and I also got that beautiful piece, which is just like gorgeous. Y'all are probably gonna notice the trend of me being the gifter and gifty <laughs> of gifts. So yeah, I like to treat myself every once in a while, especially if I like have the money to do so. Cause I don't know, I'm just a big believer in if no one else is doing it for you, why not do it for yourself, you know? like. If you don't have anyone to take you on a date, go out on a date with yourself because you deserve it. And who is like, you know, more deserving of your time than you are? That tea, that self-care, okay? <laughs> if you want something and you're waiting on someone else to get it, save for it, you know, no matter how long it takes. There's been so many times where I had to save for something small for over like the longest period of time ever but I got it eventually like this camera it took me a long time to save for this camera but I got it all that aside let's get into the book tea of the vlog I'm currently reading four books at once right now maybe about to be five because I have problems. I'm reading On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. This is a buddy read with Deja from Deja Soar. I kind of paused on this one because I wanted to wait for her to catch up. And yeah, super excited. I think I might go ahead and dive back into it though because I don't want to get too pulled out of the story from waiting like too long to actually continue reading it so yeah I'm loving this so far I love Angie Thomas's writing like it's just so relatable and funny and I like how she talks the way my family talks like in a way that I'm used to and that feels really like at home for me so her writing is just something that I really enjoy coming back to I freaking love the hate you give so freaking much don't get me started 
y'all won't be able to get me to shut up um but yeah it was so good i'm on page 61 chapter 5 all right and the next book i'm reading for the katara prompt for the avatar the last airbender readathon is harry potter and the chamber of secrets um i am currently 110 pages into this yeah i'm supposed to be reading this for the prompt read a childhood favorite and of course harry potter is a childhood favorite so yep that's what i'm reading that for and hey say hey to dobby because he's cute dobby okay that was really cringy <laughs> i'm an actual clown why do y'all watch me and you guys as far as the readathon i've never done this before and i'm i'm just completely out of whack completely out of order no priorities <laughs> the next book i'm reading which is Appa read a book with a lovable pet and i'm reading god's grave <laughs> by Jay Kristoff. Mia Carvera has like a shadow cat whom I love because he's just always talking crap, you know, and we love that. For God's Grave, I'm on chapter nine and I'm 102 pages into this. Really enjoying it. Like actually, now that I think about it, I'm enjoying all the books I'm reading right now. I don't know why I'm reading so many at one time because I'm extra like that, but not gonna lie, it usually takes me a long time to finish books when I'm not focusing on one, but that's just how my brain is this month, so I just have to like, I have to like go with it because if I don't, then I'll get on a reading slump, so I just read what I feel like reading, but yeah, I'm really enjoying God's Grave. <laughs> this book started off steamy. I'm enjoying too, like the dual timeline going on it's pretty interesting because i'm curious about like both points in the time like what the hell was going on so we love that i'm probably gonna have like a vlog dedicated to reading the rest of this book we'll see but look how much is left it has so much potential to destroy me so I'm looking forward to it. The next book I'm reading is Between the Lines by Jodi Picoult and Samantha Van Leer. This was for, I think, Aang, read a happy and hopeful book. And I'm actually enjoying this. It is definitely, I feel like, for like a younger age group, like maybe 13 or 14 or something like that. Maybe younger, maybe like 12, 13. I don't know, but i'm actually enjoying it it is very i would say it's happy and hopeful because it has to do with like fairy tales and how like fairy tales are ageless like you should be able to read what you want at any age and just like books coming to life and pretty much all the things that i love like yeah i've had this book on my shelf for like a century and now i'm only just picking it up and i'm so glad that i am finally picking this up because it's literally it's just been on my shelf too long like i think it's been on my shelf for at least four years which is horrible but i kind of am finding that the that's like some of the i don't know it's really fun when you've had a book on your shelf forever and it's like you've rediscover it and realize it's an amazing book like that happened to me with the host like literally i had this book on my shelf for like five years at least and i finally read it this year and i just loved it so much well, i just i really love that concept of just like finding a book again that you've forgotten about or didn't care about anymore and discovering that you do really enjoy it so yeah that's what i'm experiencing with this and i just ugh, I love the art in this book. Can we just, can we just, like, I freaking love, there's like art all throughout this book or whatever, and Oliver's such a little sweetheart, like, we love him. <laughs> I'm kind of shocked. <laughs> I shouldn't be though, because it has a lot of elements that I love, um, but I wonder how I'll rate it just because it's like a younger age book and I don't know, like, it's not like it's like incredible, I don't know. We'll see. When you're alone on your birthday, you gotta find a way to get hype. But yeah, I don't know. Birthdays make me happy because, like, it's a whole new year of possibility. Like, I don't know if I'm the only one that's like this, but I kind of consider my birthday my new year. To me, it makes more sense. <laughs> so this is my new year. Love that for me. Also, I have here <laughs> The Rise of Kiyoshi 
and I feel like absolute trash because I really, really need to go ahead and get started on this because this is the group book, like it's mandatory. At least I'm reading one for Water Tribe, <laughs> at least, but I really need to like step my game up because leading the Water Tribe is no joke. We're filled with culture and values and we need to stick to those values. So I need to get on it. But yeah, I think I'm gonna be picking this up soon. I wanna at least try to finish one of the books I'm already reading first before starting a whole nother book because at least if I finish one book, I can, re I just hit myself in the head. I can replace it with this one. Um, honestly, I'm slightly, just slightly intimidated by this book, just a little bit. Oh yeah, and I finished the first season of Avatar The Last Airbender. I'll be starting the second season tonight. I started, well you guys probably saw that in my last vlog, but I started a bullet journal. My J has kind of rubbed off, so that sucks, but let me kind of try to show you guys. <laughs> This is the journal, and um, that's kind of <laughs> the front. And because I started this one so late, I'm just, I don't know, that's what I have going on. And then I have my reading goals for the year, which I really need to get on, because, yeah, I need to hurry up. <laughs> And then I just have total pages read for the year, which I'm going to put at the end of the year. And then I have 2019 yearly highlights, which I started, but I don't really know about this. Like, I don't know how I feel about it, so yeah. <laughs> and then a couple pages for that that are blank. And then we have September, which looks awful, but no comment. It's my first time, so we're just going to let that slide. And then I have my Avatar The Last Airbender spread. Not great, but whatever, you know, we're experimenting. And here I just have everything. I have the group book, Water Tribe, Fire Nation, Earth Kingdom, and Air Nomads. Um, this is like a weekly spread for, well, it's kind of more than a week, I think. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's like a weekly spread for this week or whatever of September. So I just kind of was planning things out. I did a couple little drawings. I don't know if y'all could see that. Then I did a couple more pages, which I messed up on a lot. A couple more pages for the rest of the month. And then I have days read in September. I already marked today in September. And then I have this page, which I kind of messed up on, and I need to like color and stuff, but this is newly purchased books, or gifted books are going to be at the bottom. So yep, I'm going to make a list there. And then I have this page, which you can barely see. That's pretty much all I have so far, and I'm sorry for this horrible angle. I gotta figure out how to do this in the future, and also for this laundry in the background. Great, fantastic. Okay, this lighting is super weird, but I have uh, finished making my iced coffee. Definitely needed the booze. I'm gonna try to read some more of this since this is the book I'm furthest long in and I'm reading this one pretty fast. I'm gonna try to read a little bit of this before I start working, so.
I need to straighten up my workspace from yesterday because I was feeling really horrible yesterday and I just didn't give a damn so I was <laughs> literally making the hugest mess because I was so tired and exhausted and sick so yeah um I'm going to go ahead and try to straighten that up and yeah I think I'm gonna do some video planning too because I think I'm gonna try to film on my lunch break because I just have so many videos to film um yeah so um yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and get to that and I'll see you guys in a bit just a bit just a bit mm -mm -mm. all right let me get to it Hi guys, so I'm on my, what's this, 15 minute break or my first break of the day. We had like, we had kind of a slow moment, so I went ahead and put my tabs into between the lines. I'm really enjoying this book so far, like I really like that it has these really cool illustrations all throughout the book and y'all know I don't know if this is a trope or not but just like in general any book about books or books about librarians or pe main characters who love books like I just love that because that automatically makes a book relatable and fun to me I really like the concept of this I love that it was co-written by a mother and daughter and I like that I like that pretty much it's about a girl who falls in love with a book character and haven't we all done that like haven't we all fallen in love with a book character so <laughs> relatable but anywho um yeah and also I've started this new thing where um, I kind of put like so that for my wrap ups I kind of have focus points for what I was thinking or what I thought of the books I read because you know by the end of the month if you read something at the very beginning of the month and you get to the end of the month you're like what the heck did I even read like not that you forget the books exactly but you forget like what were the main talking points you wanted to mention before you suggest a book to somebody but yeah I'm kind of doing that a little bit and then I have like a 
um, what is this? What is this? A, okay, I'm stupid. An index card that I'm using as a bookmark and I'm just like kind of writing um, the things I love about this book so far. And I think I'm gonna start doing this and yeah i still have to finish my um annotation video or film it so i'm gonna start doing this i think i kind of like it so i guess i'm gonna listen to some more of this because i kind of want to go ahead and finish this today and i'm pretty sure i can do that like this book is so easy to read it's super easy and i think my rating is slowly going up just because it's just such a cute book and I'm glad I picked this for um, a happy and hopeful book for the Avatar The Last Airbender readathon. It was a good choice. I like it. That's the tea on that. Um, so I think I'm gonna, for my break, listen to the Between the Lines audiobook and do some YouTube planning. I actually got this sketchbook to, oh, uh-oh. I got this big old sketchbook and I'm gonna be like drawing in it and stuff but the main reason I got this was to create my own YouTube planner. I have two channels so I really need to learn how to organize um, my YouTube planning and be able to post consistently on both channels. I've just been having so much fun with this booktube channel that I've been slacking a little bit on my other channel but I'm trying to slowly build back up to posting more regularly on that one and the hard thing about that is a lot of videos that I want to film for that channel I need other people's help so that's kind of slowing the process down quite a bit but I'm going to be using this Y'all, let me know if the, I'm the only person that does this, but I keep opening new tab packs and I really need to stop. And I think I keep doing this because I keep reading so many books at one time and I'll also like run out of one color and it's so annoying. So I open a new tab pack, tab pack because I run out of color and it's really funny because depending on the book I'm reading, that really depends on which tab I run out of first. It's really funny. But yeah, so yeah, let me listen to Between the Lines for the rest of my break and do some journaling. Okay guys, so now I am on my lunch. I feel sick, so I don't even wanna like eat really. But I guess I'll go look and see if there's anything I wanna eat. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put my tabs in God's grave because I've been reading the ebook for a little bit. So I'm gonna update my tabs.
so guys i just got off of work for the night just one more day in the work week and then the weekend and i'm happy about next week get my first paycheck inshallah so yeah i'm about to do a little bit of journaling and probably some reading okay guys so i got this super cool gift in the mail from my brother he's like my he's not brother by blood but brother by heart you know what i'm saying but yeah i got a gift from my other older brother i can't talk let me show you guys <laughs> so this is like pretty cool so this is like honestly i don't know what these are called or i know but i cannot remember for the life of me but it has this top right here where you sit in a piece like it's like a round piece of coal out of here you light it and then you sit that in here and then you have this which is like kind of like scented wood dust i don't know how to explain it and you just you take a pinch of that out of there it smells so freaking good you take a pinch out and this is what you use for the coal when it's hot and yeah you just take a pinch out and sit it on top of the charcoal just gonna show you guys oh it's getting on my fingers so it has that little spot where you put the powder um, mm. Oh, that was scary. Oh my god. Okay, I'm too much of a chicken, y'all. I'm an absolute chicken. Okay, let me point this down so y'all could see me. Wow, that's actually like super cool. Wow. I hope I don't catch the apartment on fire. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Glowing red from the inside. That's so cool. Taking this and putting some of that in there. guys i'm super super congested partially because i've been crying i'm watching the last episode of jane the virgin and i am literally so emotional like this is killing me there's only 18 minutes left and i don't want it to end i don't want to cry but okay i'm just gonna watch it here we go <laughs> they are trying to make me sob <laughs> I don't, I've literally, this whole season, and I didn't know that this is the last season, this whole season, I've been sobbing.
absolute mess. Oh my god. Oh, I love this show so much. I look so ugly right now. Oh my god, and that reveal at the end. Oh, let me shut up. That reveal at the end, like in the very last couple of minutes of the episode, is just everything. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna calm down. I'm literally trash right now. Like, I'm trash for Jane the Virgin. Now, <laughs> now I literally just want to start the whole show over. It's like, my heart is happy, but I'm devastated. I was not expecting this to be the last season. I thought there was one more season left after season five so I was watching all the episodes like yeah you know I'm gonna have more episodes and then on Netflix I got to the episode oh my god I'm about to start crying. I got to the episode where it was saying the cast like it says their favorite moments in season five like not season five but like the whole show but the episodes in season five and it was like cast members reflect on the experiences and favorite moments they had while playing their characters i realized that chapter 100 was the last episode and i literally like i could have been done with the show like two weeks ago I could not bring myself to watch the last episode because I just did not want it to end. The show is just everything. It's so good. If you haven't watched Jane the Virgin, you guys, and you want to go on an emotional roller coaster full of entertainment and laughter, watch Jane the Virgin. When I, I'm not even joking when I say I've been crying this whole freaking season. I don't think there's one episode in season five where I did not cry. Like that. It's very. So I could go swimming too. No, no baby. I go swimming like this. No baby. Mm -hmm. You know that. So I have a late night package. ASMR. <laughs> no. Oh. Let me see. The girls of paper and fire. Natasha Nagan. Natasha Nagan. Is there anything What's else in here? Who's it from? Amazon? Wait, who is it from? I think it's from Amazon. Oh, it's from Simone. Oh, so freaking sweet. I'm going to put this in my journal. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh man, I've been wanting to read this. Holy crap. Office, shut up! <laughs> you can't even hear me. Yes, you can. <laughs> How do you know? Because I always hear you in the background of my videos. <laughs> Alright, so. Oh my goodness. You, you can make me something. Uh, can, can you let me finish my video clip? Alright, go ahead. I ain't stopping you. Yes, you literally physically are. <laughs> I'm sorry my husband's so rude. <laughs> Anyway, oh, oh my god, what that mean? tell them what that means. Oh, pretty shut. You're really ruining this. For me. Your over there. You're you ruining see? this for me. Please exit thy left. <laughs> it's not even my left, it's my right. It's my left. I've been wanting to read this forever. I've heard it's like really good. Oh my god, oh, so pretty. It's so pretty. <laughs> Honestly, this just made my day. Wow. This just made my day. Thank you, Simone. Thank you so much. You know, you're the first person to ever send me book mail. This is going down in history. Like, 
we're marking this on our calendars all of those things you know journals whatever you want to call it this is a monumentous occasion <laughs> i can't wait till you get yours <laughs> okay let's put it on my shelf i don't even know where to put it let's see first of all can we just can we just take a moment like can we just okay should I put it right here let's see how it looks beside in I darken maybe ah, why am I acting like such a freaking weirdo right now why am I doing that <laughs> so guys it's right there I checked the mail and I have another package which I'm high key shook by. I just wanted to open it because yesterday was that yesterday? Yeah, yesterday I got a package oh, and it was Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha and again. Um, and Simone from Chasing Pages sent this to me and I was so touched like in my whole heart so now I'm like hmm this <laughs> people make that look way easier in videos oh my goodness oh it's the Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo, I'm actually gonna read one of her books this month and I've been wanting this one for a long time because I've just heard that it's like so freaking good. Oh my god, who got this? Simone! <laughs> oh! He... <laughs> I can't even. Oh my, <gasps> oh my god. Thank you. Oh. Uh... I'm kind of speechless. Girl, you did not have to give me anything. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is so beautiful. Honestly, both of these are so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna stop like acting like an idiot right now. I'm just a little shook. Literally a queen. Oh my god, and these little notes, I'm so gonna freaking cut this out and like put it in the book. I don't know, with like some washi tape or something so that I can have it. Oh my god. I wasn't like, I was always enamored by this cover, but I wasn't like super interested and then you talked about it. I think that was like two months ago I saw it on your channel and I was just like, I need to read it and the fact that now like it's connected to you like my copy is just like can be right here in my heart okay hearts fluffy rainbows love that for us 